covering the topic of broadband quite extensively here at two on your side for nearly a year. It's a complex topic with a lot of ins and outs and one Western New York native is on the front line of tackling these issues at the federal level. Our own Nate Benson talked exclusively with an FCC commissioner in this two on your side original. We've been covering some of the issues regarding broadband access here at two on your side for nearly a year. Everything from merger rollouts, the New York State broadband program, pandemic access, rural parking lot, internet cafes, and more, it's a complicated issue that has become far too real since the shutdowns began in March. But there's a Western New York native who plays a key role in making a lot of decisions regarding these issues on the FCC. Commissioner Michael O'Reilly is a Lockport native, and I spoke to him exclusively. Well, it's been busy. Uh, it's been a need for the commission to take action on a number of different fronts to make sure that people remain connected, Americans have access to broadband and all the services that we regulate. So it's been a busy couple months, I'm not going to lie to you. And while the FCC has its Keep America Connected pledge, which is a volunteer initiative led by the FCC to ensure service providers wouldn't disconnect consumers during the pandemic, O'Reilly knows the reality that some people simply don't have access. Um, so I know those experiences. It doesn't take you know, 15 minutes to be outside a pocket where you know that broadband doesn't exist. I first addressed the New York State broadband program with Commissioner O'Reilly. The project was supposed to deliver high-speed broadband of at least 100 megs per second to the vast majority of the state and at least 25 megs to only the most rural parts. What's your what's your thoughts on this program? Is it a success? Well look at uh, I don't have data to refute that number but I don't think that that matches up with my conversations with folks. I would have liked the program to be more uh, more more sufficient or had had met out to the issues, but there, there definitely seem to be some things that need to be worked and that we will have to address uh, after the fact. When you say um, parts of the program kind of missed the mark, what do you, what do you, can you elaborate a little bit more? Well, sure. Uh, look, at I, I've, I've studied this a little bit. I haven't uh, done a full uh, audit or examination, but when I look at it, it's interesting. The Western New York uh, got a lot more satellite service than other parts. In fact, in terms of rollout of the New York State broadband program, satellite internet represents 30% of the entire program. In terms of number of locations addressed, over 78,000. And while it's easy to get bogged down in the minutia of the program, O'Reilly says he's focused on the main goal of his role as commissioner, which is to deliver broadband to everyone. My job is to get it there, so I'm not going to be satisfied in stopping at some number, 98%. That's not, that's not my purpose. The FCC is preparing for another round of funding, which will provide billions of dollars to bridge the broadband gap in rural America, including western New York. Back to the New York State broadband program and mapping, Commissioner O'Reilly sent me a statement after they looked at some of the things New York State reported and said, quote, Our new federal mapping requirements should expose the existence of any inaccuracies, waste, or inefficiencies in New York State's program. Remember, you can send me an email directly regarding any access issues you have or just want to share your story. Email broadband at WGRZ.com. Reporting in Lockport, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.